Hey, Gemini, we are going to do a reading on you and your person that you are separated with. We're going to find out why do they leave? What are they feeling towards you? Their next moves? How do they see you? And then the outcome. Okay, so why did this person leave? The Knight of Cups, the Temperance card, and the Ace of Swords. They could have been left to or being called to heal something in them. Okay, it's like um, they're kind of being guided to see things clear okay uh with the ace of swords there could be something new that they moved on to this could be work this could be a toxic connection that they're in um this could be to see something for what it is that's toxic okay so this person with the devil yeah sagittarius and capricorn energy it's almost as if this person need some healing because I don't really think they're in a toxic connection. What I think is that they don't want you to see their true colors and how they really are. So they're being led by the angels to do some healing work before they're able to come back and commit because this person, it's almost as if the angels are blocking you because you don't deserve whatever this is. Okay. So how are they feeling after walking away or after this ended? The eight of wands. The Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Well, the thing is, they're feeling really good, okay? I feel like they're feeling like they're getting their life together. This person, I feel like they were being led to leave you because they had some healing work to do. And now look at them, how they're feeling. They're feeling more refreshed. They're feeling more grounded. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. This person, they're, they're giving more to themselves, okay? They also may be working a lot, okay? Okay. But what they're feeling right now towards you is it's like they want to come forward and offer you something more stable, like an, a stable offer. They do consider you as very loyal, grounded, somebody who's got their shit together. You're very abundant, whether you have a good job or you dress really nice or have really nice clothes or you're always looking nice, whatever this is, this person really kind of like look at all the things around him. So it's like, you're very abundant. You have a lot going for you. Okay. They are very inspired by you too, as well. I think they, by meeting you, it's inspired them to do the work that they need to do because, you know, I feel like the angels led them to you for them to see like, wow, like I can't hurt this person. I got to change, you know? So it's, you're kind of like somebody who's forced this person to go through some type of spiritual awakening. Their next moves is the sun. Wow. The two of cups and the four of swords. More healing. They do need a rest here, but their next moves is to really think things through on how it is that they're going to come through and be truthful. And I do feel like um, they're really trying to figure out, like, how are they going to talk to you? How are they going to win you back? How are they going to express their love for you? How are they going to be truthful? I feel like they're a little bit nervous with that. I do feel like they're going to tell you that they had some work to do, or they could have already told you that they needed to get their shit together before they come back. Okay. But their next moves are to come through and offer you their cup. Okay. This is soulmate energy here with the two of cups. How do they view you? The three of swords, the king of cups, the five of pentacles. They feel left out. They feel heartbroken over you. They're trying to keep it together, okay? Um, you may have told this person to go. They consider you a little bit intimidating, okay? But I do feel like they consider you as like, look, the wings, the wings, the wings. You know, it's like angelic, okay? This person feels like... You're somebody who's helped them make a lot of changes. You're somebody, even if you didn't do it on purpose, the connection that you guys shared and when they left, it's like they have to do all that they can to get themselves better for you, all right? Whatever it is that's in the way of this, work, friends, family, addictions, you know, how they treat other people, whatever this is, they are letting go of it and they're healing from it, okay? Um, they definitely want a new beginning here with you. And the Ace of Cups is how they see you. And the moon. You're very loving and loyal, but I feel like they also consider you a little bit of a mystery. Maybe you guys are not communicating. And this person's a little bit worried that maybe you are done with them. Okay. So 
what's the outcome here? The Page of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. You got all the Aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You force this person to walk their spiritual journey. I feel like they're walking right back to you pretty soon to message you and let you know that they want to start something with you again. Like the outcome is a stable outcome. Like their offer is like real and legit. Okay. Um, they're very passionate about you. The page of pentacles too. It's like they're willing to do different things. They're willing to try to make themselves better for this connection. This person is very stuck on you. I want to clarify what the devil is. The Ten of Wands. They have a lot of shit on their shoulders, okay? They carry a lot of weight, a lot of blame, a lot of hurt. They may carry a lot of people's problems, too, as well. But the good thing with the Ten of Wands is that that's an ending, okay? And then you have the Five of Cups. They may drink or, like, you know, and then the Nine of Swords. Wow. So, yeah, this is all internal. Emotions, mental, passions, like everything internalized. Okay. So this person may drink to try to forget about their problems or this person may run away. Um, but whatever this is, this is what they're fixing being too much in their head, focusing on all the negatives and the 10 of wands carrying too much weight. So it's like, they're letting go of things. They're starting to see things from a better side and they're starting to think better too as well. Okay. So the outcome of this when this person comes in, obviously, you're going to have a choice. It's up to you if you want to take this person back. But you literally got all four freaking aces, okay, and two pages, which are talking about messenger cards. So I do feel like this person's going to be reaching out to you pretty soon. I don't think I did the timing. So I will do a timing card. Holy helicopters. The nine of pentacles, that's not really a timing card. You have the hierophant. I think that's Taurus season. And then you have the strength card on the bottom of the deck, which is Leo. So anywhere is from like the middle of April to the middle of August, okay? Um, the Nine of Pentacles is when this person's feeling more in their power, when they are brave enough, and when they've learned enough, and they've done enough reflection and growth, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe if you want, and take care. Stay safe.